Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to use NDI Router in conjunction with the TriCaster. NDI Router is a free application that allows you to take any NDI signal on your network and route it to a specific destination. This works great for delivering multiple sources to a large array of different outputs for, say, uh, arenas, digital signage, projectors, or anywhere where you have a massive amount of screens you want to display your video on, freeing up your TriCaster mixes for other recordings or other uses. A great way to distribute your video, so let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so today we're going to start off in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface, and before I get show you NDI router. Let me show you the layout that I have on my TriCaster. So uh, if I go into my output configuration here, you'll see that in my mixes, I have mixes 1, 2, and 3 are my program, program clean preview, and my mix 4 is going to be input 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, so all the way to the day. Uh, so what I'm basically doing here is I'm setting this up to be, uh, for my mixes to be recorded, on the system, uh, not necessarily tied into anything that's hardware. Uh, although I can do that in this particular uh, configuration right now, I'm using all eight, eight mixes for me to record, etc. Okay, so if I wanted to distribute this video without changing anything on the TriCaster that might me mess up my recordings, the best way to do that is using NDI router. So let me show you how to do that. Close this, and let's move over to my uh, desktop. And I have NDI router open here at the bottom. And you can download this for free at ndi.tv as part of the uh, NDI tools pack. Highly recommend checking those out. So basically in this situation, uh, when using NDI router, uh, you can do something like, for example, leave your TriCaster alone with all your different mixes being recorded, but then have all the other monitors that you want or projectors or digital signage, uh, jumbotrons, etc. You can go through and have those all running an iteration of studio monitor and then have them all point to a destination that you can switch wherever you want. So kind of like a rudimentary switcher, but it's just route. So not necessarily switching, but route. Okay, so uh, what we're going to pretend here is in my studio monitor that we've gone through and we've got uh, like 80 different uh, machines and devices all going to be pointed to the same location which we're going to select as NDI router destination one. So instead of going to my TriCaster here, we'll go to my computer, which is what I'm running my NDI router on. And then you'll see over here on the pop-up on the side is I have destinations one, two, three, and four all coming from my NDI router. Okay. So if you went through and select them all as watching router destination one, they're no longer watching a TriCaster. They're watching what we have set up here. So now let's go through and configure that how we want to see it. Now, right now, you'll see that I have eight different sources here on the left, uh, four destinations on the right, and then a whole bunch of presets here as well. If you wanted to add some more, you can click on this gear icon, and a plus button will show up next to all of these. So I can add a bunch more sources, a bunch more destinations, and presets if I want. Uh, if you're curious as to how many uh, sources and destinations and presets you can add, well, uh, how big is your screen? Because honestly, I ran out of screen real estate uh, before I ran out of destinations. You can fill this up as many as you want. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and start to configure this a little bit. So I'll go into source number one, and I'm just going to do really simple here today for this example. So I'll go into source number one, and let's select the output of my TriCaster. So we'll go to TriCaster and we'll go to mix number one, which again was my program. And as soon as I select that, it's already up and running. So all of those monitors that I had assigned to watch destination number one are now to TriCaster's mix. Okay. Now let's go ahead and title that what it's supposed to be. So we'll say program. And I can even change the color of that. Now let's make that red. And then destination two, figure that one. That my mix number three, which was my preview. I'll make that green. Let me change the text color so I can see it over here. There we go. So we already got some presets rolling here. 
And then let me go to number three here. And instead of using my uh, one of my mixes, I can either choose a buffer, I can choose an input, I can choose a media player. So I'll select PDR1. That one. Color. Blue. Black. See it. And then the same thing here. Two. White, black, bold it so I know. There, uh, and select. Two. Now, what's cool about this too is not only I, mean, I I don't have to necessarily use a tricaster for the different sources coming into the system. I can use a mix of anything that's on my network that's broadcasting via NDI. So, for example, if I go into input five here, I can hit configure. And I can say, let's just monitor what's coming out of my NC1IO. One, two. I need that. There we go. Boom. Okay. So now all everything that's pointed to destination that's watching destination number one now has these presets that I quickly route simply by clicking on that. Okay. So if I wanted to change desti destination, so after your setup is done, uh, in order to uh, to follow the steps of actually routing, you would click on the destination first. So again, we'll click on one and then select the source you want to use. So I currently have program selected, but now if I hit preview, check this out. Bam. Now, all of those computers that were watching destination one have now been changed to my preview. And if I go back in my TriCaster and change the preview there, that follows it. Okay. And then uh, as well, if I want to go to my DDR, boom, there's my DDR1. DDR2, and then I can pull up an input from a completely different system, NC1IO, bam, just like that. So, really cool, simple routing that you can use for this. Now I can store this preset by clicking on store, and then selecting one of these different presets here. So I'll go ahead and put that into one, and now I have that stored, whoops, and now I have that stored ready to go. So if I click away from it to like say six, for example, and then come back, well, I need to have something that's already stored. There we go. And then go back to one. There you go. See, now I have that all routed where it needs to be. All right. So that's how you could do TriCaster, I mean, sorry, uh, NDI routing out of the TriCaster. But you can also do the same thing coming into the system as well. All right. So I've shown you how to do the destination routing out. But then I can also show you that I can do the same thing going into my system. Okay. So for example, right now I have all of these eight different sources are currently selected to be uh, uh, different inputs coming from a system. Now I don't want to change the destination because I already have that routed however I wanted it before. So I'm going to go into number two here and now I have access to change all of those. So let's go back into my TriCaster to Elite and I'm going to go into input number one here. Instead of selecting this gentleman on his bike, I'm going to go to Richie, Richie, Rich again, my system, and assign destination two. Click on that. Bam. And now, whenever I choose anything on NDI router, I can then route those directly from here. I don't have to go through and set anything up on the TriCaster end. I can just do it from NDI router, making the routing of inputs and outputs super super simple and just a touch of a button on a standalone machine using ndi router so i highly recommend downloading this again at ndi.tv play around with it and of course you know some fun so as you can see ndi router is a great way to distribute ndi signals across your network to any and every screen that you have don't forget to subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc for more helpful tutorial videos like this one. For formal New Tech product training, highly recommend checking out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech-u. And for more information on New Tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit newtech.com or sign up for a free interactive product demo at newtech.com slash demo. Also, don't forget to enter for a chance to win some really cool new tech gear as part of the TriCaster Director of the Year Awards, which is available at newtech.com slash T-D-O-T-Y. 
And of course, if you're tagging us on social media, don't forget to include the hashtags NewTek, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what y'all are up to. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of NewTek Tuesday Tutorials.